Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Yuma Farah and today we will be learning the difference between dark speech and indirect speech and we will actually talk more about indirect speech today. So, the whole grammar itself is called reported speech and it's divided to two other uh, branches we can say. Direct speech and indirect speech. Let me give you some examples of both. For direct speech, you can say Alice uh, said I can help you. This is a direct speech. Okay? You see that in actually in books, novels, articles, essay and actually formal writings okay when we are writing something formal we use this but on the other hand indirect speech if we exactly convert this to indirect speech we can say alice said that we consider alice as a girl so it's a girl name Ali said that she could help me. Okay? There is no sign of double quotations, no sign of commas, and so on. Okay? So, what's the usage of indirect speech? We use indirect speech, actually, by saying indirect speech, it means we reinterpret, reinterpret, uh, the situation, the context, the text, into our own words, okay, and we say it to our context. Second one, we use it for the second sentence. We use it in our daily conversation, spoken English. While the first one is more uh, formal, is very formal. Also, so this this part, let me change this color. This part is known as reporting clause while this part is considered as reported uh, reported clause in direct speech we can replace the clauses it's like uh, conditional sentences we can replace the if clause with main clause and so on. And we can say, for example, let me write it. You see, that's how we make it. We replace it. So again, you know it. This one is reported. Let me just write reported. And this one is reporting. In order to remember it, in order to remember that, you can say who is reporting, for example, Alice. Who is reporting? If if you don't want to forget which one is reported, which one is reporting. You can say like this, who is reporting Alice? What is reported? I can help you. The context is reported. And that's that's how actually we name them. So when you wanna make some sentences in indirect speech, we need to actually make some changes. Let me scroll it down. So there is something we actually uh, call it a three-step structure. First, you should actually change uh, the pronouns, okay? First, you change pronouns. Then, we change uh, verb tenses. Verb tenses. And then we change, actually, adverbs. Let me give you one example, actually, containing all of them. So, we can say, 
has a normal sentence, direct sentence. Jack said, uh, I, I can, again, I can help you now. Okay, double quotation. I can help you now. We want to make it in direct speech. Let me use you. We can, we can say, let me write it you. Jack said that, or, or here we can, generally, we can omit the as well. We can say, write it like this. He could help me, uh, let me write it here, then. So here, our pronouns, actual here, we change I to he. We change you to me. Okay, because Jack says I can help you. It means actually he could help me. If we are saying it to the third person. For example, for example, let me, let, let me make it more clear. Jack is the person who said this. Jack said it to me. For example, not for example, I mean, okay? And I am going to say it to, for example, David. Okay, my friend, David. So I change it, okay? So Jack said that he could help me then. Here, we have pronouns. I, we change it to he, because Jack is a boy name. You, we change it to me because he, he, was, he was talking to us. Okay, so now, this one, we change it to verb. Can, we change it to could. What over. And we have something else. We have... This one, then. We change now to then, okay? So, in the next video, I'll be actually explaining the whole grammar uh, more precisely. I just wanted to actually uh, illustrate the different, illustrate some points about that, that the difference between direct speech and indirect speech, and actually giving some famous examples. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. More videos coming soon. See you later.